Thank you, Andy. Well, there are many studies out there that say if a dad spends time with his daughter while growing up, it makes a positive difference, not just at that moment, but for many years to come. And the good news is, even for dads who didn't always have that chance, it's never too late to start. In Lipsick, a brand new event is being planned, giving dads one special night to show their daughters just how special they really are. The first daddy-daughter date night is Sunday, April 19th, and organizer Adam Cup is here with us to talk more about this event. Adam, thank you so much for joining us on Faith and Friends. Thank you for having me. So let's start out by just talking about the event. When is it, where is it, and what's it all about? Sure. Uh, the event is actually April 19th, uh, and it will be held at the uh, Fogel Center uh, there in Lipsick, uh, an event hall uh, that is utilized for wedding receptions and those types of uh, events. Uh, the event uh, will have a lot of opportunities and activities for both the dad and the daughter. Um, we have uh, the opportunity of having a uh, photographer on hand mm. uh, that will provide a formal uh, photo uh, as a keepsake uh, for the dad and the daughter. Um, probably one of the things that gets uh, the most attention is uh, we'll actually have a chocolate fountain on hand. Uh, a lot of the uh, daughters and probably fathers alike uh, enjoy uh, that, uh, that uh, opportunity to see something like that. Um, but uh, in addition to that, obviously, we're, uh, we're, uh, it's a joy to have uh, both Hannah uh, Beck that will be there that evening uh, to perform for us and uh, your own Andy Lynch uh, will be there to MC the event for us. So uh, it's an evening uh, full of opportunities for the dads and daughters to hang out. So we're excited. Why did you even want to go through the effort to start something like this? Sure, sure. Uh, well, personally um, and selfishly, I have two daughters myself, uh, my oldest daughter being 15 and my youngest 11. And so um, I've had the opportunity to take them uh, to a similar event uh, put on by a Christian radio station in the Fort Wayne area. And uh, as I sat through that first year, uh, I recall thinking, um, I'd really like to bring this back to Northwest Ohio and in particular uh, into our area um, because I certainly felt that there was an opportunity uh, to kind of share in this same idea uh, with similar dads and, and daughters in our, in our area. So it kind of started about three years ago that I had this idea. Um, and from there, it just kind of slowly uh, came about through talking to the Lipsick Ministerial Association, who is kind of overseeing the, uh, the project. And uh, they gave me the green light and uh, here it is. So, you know, families are busy these days. You and I were talking before our interview about swimming. We both have swimming daughters. So we do a lot of things with our families. Sure. <clears throat> but why is it so important to set aside time like this where it's truly just the dad and the daughter and it's targeted? It's not a swimming event. It's not a sporting event. It's not a music event. It's a time for just them. Sure. I think that's, uh, you, you hit the nail on the head. I think it's an opportunity for the dads and the daughters uh, to see each other outside of the busy norm uh, that we experience, you know, daily where it's kind of check a box, go on to the next thing. Uh, here's an opportunity to, to pause and to really kind of uh, show each other how much they appreciate really what they do for each other. Um, and, you know, we just don't always get the opportunity to take that time. And so I, I wanted to make sure that we had, even if it was only for a couple hours, mm -hmm. you know, that opportunity that they could share in a memory and hopefully it's something that they'll look back on, you know, as, as the daughters go through their lives uh, as something that they cherish. Well, I, I told my husband that I didn't tell him. I asked him if he would come, but I strongly <laughs> encouraged him because it is such a valuable thing to see dads with their daughters. So it is coming up on the 19th of April. It's at the Fogel Center in Lipstick. Mm -hmm. I know that you can get tickets at area Lipstick churches, but is this just an area, an event for that region or is it open to anybody who wants to come? Certainly. Um, being the first year of event, you, you never really know what to expect. And so uh, we, we would certainly open this up to anyone and all that are interested. Um, as you said, uh, the Lipstick Ministerial Association, the churches that are inclusive of that, uh, all each have tickets uh, available for pre-sale. Um, but in addition to that, uh, folks can certainly reach out to me uh, directly um, and uh, we can make sure that they get tickets for that evening. Um, there won't be any tickets sold at the door uh, simply because we want to make sure that uh, we have enough hors d'oeuvres and uh, seating for everyone. But uh, certainly they can contact me directly either by email uh, at uh, ACKC12 at hotmail.com uh, or even by my cell phone at 419-306-0192. Uh, All right, and if for some reason you have trouble getting a hold of Adam or, or any of the Lipstick churches, you're welcome to call us here at the TV station 
419-339-4444. And we'll make sure that you're able to get tickets as well. And those tickets are $5, correct? That is correct. They are a $5 donation for each ticket. Okay, so that is April 19th, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The first, maybe the first annual, we'll see, daddy-daughter date night taking place in the Lipstick area. Great opportunity if you are a dad and you have daughters of any ages. I encourage you to plan to attend this special night. Now it's, now it's time now for this week's Lost Creek Care Center food segment. And instead of actually cooking something new, Zach is with Dr. Trudy Peeper to talk about a very important ingredient, honey. Could this just be God's gift to our health? Zach? 